Praise God. Good morning, brothers and sisters. May 1st, St. Joseph the Walker. The first day of May, May Day, has long been dedicated to walking people. When he instituted this feast in 1955, Pope Pius XII expressed hope that it would emphasize the dignity of labor and bring a spiritual dimension to labor unions and labor legislation. As Pope John Paul II wrote, at the workbench where he plied his trade together with Jesus, Joseph brought human work closer to the mystery of the redemption. Let us pray for divine retreat send us a must be. Heavenly Father, let your eyes be open night and day upon the divine retreat send us a must be. May your holy presence fill this house of prayer. In this your chamber, may the rejected feel accepted, the depressed find hope, the wounded find healing. Protect your home from all afflictions. Let your Holy Spirit rest upon. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Entrance and defense. Blessed are all who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labor of your hands, you shall eat. Blessed are you and blessed will you be. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, as we especially remember this day, the day of St. Joseph as the walker, we remember all the people, all of us basically are walkers, we eat our food by the sweat on our forehead. So we remember all those who are really struggling at workplace, those who are undergoing a lot of bullying uh, at different places connected with their work, and those who are committed and dedicated at their workplace. And also we remember people who are jobless, people who are searching for a job through the intercession of St. Joseph, the worker. Let us acknowledge our failures and shortcomings. So prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, graciously grant that by the example of Saint Joseph, under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the rewards you promise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for readings.
the first reading. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said, Let us make men in our image, in the likeness of ourselves, and let them be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, the cattle, all the wild beasts, and all the reptiles that crawl upon the earth. God created man in the image of himself. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying to them, Be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and conquer it. Be masters of the fish, of the sea, the birds of heaven, and all the living animals on the earth. God said, See, I give you all the seed-bearing plants that are upon the whole earth, and all the trees with seed-bearing fruits. This shall be your food. To all wild beasts, all birds of heaven, and all living reptiles on the earth, I give you all the foliage of plants for food. And so it was. God saw all that he made, and indeed it was very good. Evening came, morning, and morning came the sixth day. Thus the heaven and earth were completed with all their array. The seventh day, God completed the work that he had been doing. He rested on the seventh day after all the work that he had been doing. God blessed the seventh day and made it holy because on that day, he had rested after all the work of creating. This is the word of the Lord. Your response shall be, Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Before the mountains were born, or the earth, or the world brought forth, you are God without beginning or end. Your response, Lord, Give success to the works of our hand. You turn, man, you turn man back into dust and say, Go back, sons of man. To your eyes, a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. He responds, Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Make us known, make us know the shortness of our lives, that we may gain wisdom of our heart, of heart. Lord, relent. Is your anger forever? Show pity to your servants. Response: Lord, give success to the work of our hands. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Show forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Your response, Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord day after day, the God who saves us and bears our burdens. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Miraculous powers. This is the carpenter's son, surely. Is not his mother the woman called Mary? And his brothers James and Joseph? And Simon and Jude? His sisters too are they not all here with us? So where did the man get it all? And they would not accept him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is only despised 
in his own country and in his own house and he did not work many miracles there because of their lack of faith the gospel of the lord dear loving children of god as we as we remember saint joseph the worker on the day of may 1st a day specially dedicated to all the workers we remember pope francis he proclaimed this year as the year of saint joseph from 20 sorry on 8th december 2022 8th december 2021 so when we when we travel these days the year of saint joseph one of the aspects there are lot of spiritual insights connected with saint joseph one of the aspects that i would love to share with you today look at saint joseph an unnoticed man his his presence is very active at the needed time but always unnoticed man not much noticed by everyone not much praised by everyone so look at mother mary she is always her name is always come up with the people around but saint joseph always an unnoticed one but at the time of need at the time of a help always his presence is so active so brothers and sisters especially all those who are working if you are not getting enough appreciation or if you are not getting enough feedback which is good if you are not uh, congratulated by your colleagues please keep in mind the the when we celebrate the feast of saint joseph as the worker he is the man who has done everything but not much noticed by everyone uh, we can say an uh, invisible way he performed miracles not seen by everyone but he has he has done a lot so this saint joseph the one worked hard being there at all the important moments and necessary times but unnoticed by everybody so something something so attractive towards him that's why he's a just man so brothers and sisters we remember all the workers i said in the beginning all of us are workers it is not only some people all of us we all do one or other way something to move ahead it's not only about getting income out of our hard work even whatever we do for keeping our well being keeping the society go keeping the family move all of us even the mother washing the dishes and plates at the home she does work everyone every single one every single one works so saint vincent de paul reminds as jesus said already but saint vincent de paul reminds the this particular point you have to eat only by the sweat on your forehead so all those who are lazy and those who are not active at their responsibilities this is the time to come into come into that awareness of your work your responsibilities the father the son and the holy spirit Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth the work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine, the work of human hands, it will become a spiritual drink. Humble spirit and contrite heart may be accepted by you, O Lord, and sacrifice in your sight. This may be pleasing to you. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, found of all mercy, look upon our offerings which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of Saint Joseph. Mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the commemoration of Saint Joseph to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you, a spouse to the Virgin Mother of God and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of us. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony, a bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray. We pray for all the people who are struggling due to this pandemic. We remember and pray for all the people who are facing a lot of challenges at the workplace. We pray with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her devoted spouse, Blessed Apostles and all the saints, Saint Vincent de Paul, Saint Mary Magdalene, and all those who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should not mind, but only say a word, my soul shall be. Those who are not able to go to church physically today, this is your time of spiritual communion. You can join along with me when I do this prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body and the blood of Christ keep us to have eternal life.
Brothers and sisters, um, sorry for all the inconveniences connected with the live streaming last couple of days. Um, the reception and the internet problem is very severe at this part uh, in where the sender uh, uh, stays. So uh, sorry for that inconvenience. And also please keep uh, Divine Retreat Center in prayer. Today we have the retreats morning and evening. So keep the sender in your prayer. And also there won't be Eucharistic Adoration and Benediction, 9 p.m., but we will continue tomorrow onwards. Remembering all your prayers, especially people who are really struggling in different parts of the world connected with the COVID-19. Let us pray. Having fed up on heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, Lord, that by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the signs of your love, we may ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Glorify God by our lives. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of bad. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the day. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer for priests. O oh Jesus, eternal priest, keep all your priests in the shelter of your sin, where none may harm them.
surround them and shield them from the world's scandal. Bless their laborers with abundant fruits, and may the souls to whom they have ministered to be their joy and consolation, and in turn, their rule and everlasting love. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us, obtain for us many holy priests. Amen. We claim